It's not about putting pressure, take your arm out. It's just about putting pressure. It's about being relaxed. You should not be focused and do the movement. You should be focused and feel the movement. At 40, 50, maybe 60 years old, how should you adjust your training? Well, there's a couple things to consider. Mainly, your ability to handle total amounts of stress and recover slows down as we get older. This is a natural consequence of physical aging process. So workouts may not be able to be quite as intense, you may need recovery time, or you may need better recovery practices. Like when you're 20, you may be able to get great workouts in even though you're up all night studying or partying in school, but when you're in your 40s, it's not gonna happen. You need to get your good sleep. But the exception I take with this is this idea that we have to train differently just because we've had 40 plus birthdays or whatnot. Because what really matters most isn't your physical age, but rather your capability age. Your capability age is based more on what can you do now. So base your ability, your workouts, more on your current ability, not just your current age. If you have issues or weaknesses, base your program around these things. But if you don't have them, don't hold yourself back just because you're a certain age. It's no different than like GPS in a car. You get a cert, you want to get to a certain destination, your instructions depend on where you are starting from, not how old your car is or how long you've been on the road or any of that sort of thing. Base your program off of your current capabilities and then